Well, guys, uh, they did it. They made the perfect room system in Splatoon 3. All you have to do now to join on into a room is get a link and click on the room in your game. That's it. Watch this. So I open up the menu and I say, man, oh man, do I want to join my friend's room in the link that I've already got? And it's just right there. You can't miss it. You click on it and you're in. So how the heck does this work? I'm gonna explain step by step how room creation, the brand new Splatoon 3 private battle exclusive functionality works. Nintendo's brand new room creation function allows you to join rooms without needing to add a friend or join a pool. You can make the room directly from your phone using the Nintendo Switch Online app. What I do is I open up Splatnet 3 and I click on room creation. When I'm there, all I have to do is click create a room and the room will just exist. It will generate a URL that you can then share with your friends and they can open up using their phone. The app makes a couple of things very clear. Anybody can use this URL, even people who aren't your friends, which means that all they have to do is open the link and get in the room. But this doesn't mean people that are your friends are excluded. Those that don't have the link can still join the room just as easily. In fact, for them it just shows up as a normal private battle room. They won't even know that you made it on your phone. And this of course means, but wait a minute, couldn't anybody just join the room then? And that answer is no, because you can actually set a password on these rooms. The passwords only work for people who don't have the link. Currently, and this could change with a future patch, there is no way to set a password if you want to send the link to somebody. But you can set a password to prevent your regular friends and or just, you know, people who you don't want joining in the room to randomly show up. Like, let's say you're in a relatively large pool. Maybe you don't want people to fill up the room with that on accident. But even if you don't set a password, Nintendo has made sure there's no way for you to accidentally not get into your own room after you make it. That what they did is they made it very, very, very easy for you to get on in. They reserve a spot for the host. So if you're the one that made the room through the app, the game literally has a spot reserved for you that says waiting for host name. So let's say I share this link, but I'm not in the room yet. People can click on the link and join on into the room and they'll be able to play nothing. They have to wait for me. <laughs> but up to nine people can join the room before I even get in. Like, let's say I have to finish looking at something else on Splatnet 3, like ordering a piece of gear. Or maybe I'm just distracted doing something else that isn't Splatoon for a minute. People can still hop on into the room. This also means if I have to leave the room for whatever reason, people can join and leave. People can change the music. People can run around in circles. They can all still share that space together while they're waiting for me. It's a very easy function to use, and I feel like it'll work very well in conjunction with pools and with your friends list. Because the host slot is saved as yours, this also means that you'll also be the one in control with sending out pool notifications. So not only can you send out limitless notifications now with the brand new update, but you can also guarantee that you're the host so you can keep sending them out even if you're not the first person in the room. Also, unlike pools, anybody who clicks that link sees that room. It does not matter if five people click on that link or a hundred people click on that link. I was doing a little bit of stress testing last night and there was nobody in my chat which had over a hundred people in it who said they had any trouble seeing the link. I'm sure not every person was clicking it, but anyone who did click it, did see it. That's great for the future. Essentially, if you make content, you would be able to share the link with the people and have the pool code also there as a backup for anybody who doesn't use the NSO app. That way, anybody would be able to get in between using the link and just, you know, joining on into the pool. Honestly, what a great change to the game. Of course, this is only for private battles right now, so you still have to use pools and friend codes to get into everything else. Use it for playing with friends. Use it for making mini games. Use it for getting people together into a tournament. It's quick, it's simple, it only needs a couple of clicks, and it works perfectly.
the only thing that I've seen break these rooms on accident is like if someone disconnects before the game starts, just like a normal private battle. Otherwise, people can come and go as they please, including the host, and the room will just keep staying up. Thank you for listening, and I hope you're able to take advantage of this brand new function, and I hope it helps you out. Uh, bye bye